Okay, so I figured instead of just looking at the update and uploading a video like I normally do, I saw this video was on YouTube and I looked at a little bit of it and I kind of wanted to, I wanted to look at like his POV, give my input and then maybe some of my input on his POV. If any of you have any questions, you can let me know. These are all the new um, changes that are being coming through with the new 8.0 update. Um, killer, survivor, perks, powers, maps, etc. Obviously, I'm just going to be very critiqueful, critical. I'm not like I I don't I don't hate anybody. I'm not trying to bash anyone. Honestly, I think True has been doing a lot of reactionary content, so I figure this is like a good opportunity. He's kind of putting himself in that space and kind of the most prominent figure from like a maybe like a platform standpoint um, in terms of like voicing their opinions and like game uh, relevant. Dances, so let's take a peek at some of this. So I might heading into our ninth year, blah, 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 right? So a medium, I'm not going to read this medium update and minor update because mm. again, it's the devs. They say like, don't look at my algorithm. It's kind of just pointless. I don't know why they do it. <laughs> it's weird. I don't know. I don't, don't get look. It. So I'm, I'm just going to read this. I'm not going to look at what type of update it is because it's just a lot of bullshit. Um, so the good guy changes. So decreased hardy hole cooldown to 12 seconds was 18. Huge power buff. Huge power buff. Yes, yeah, huge power buff. Yeah, at the bottom. Decreased hardy hole cooldown to 12 seconds was 18. Huge power increase. That sounds like a good thing. Yeah, it is. It is. You, gotta, you get into you hardy hole in faster. Yeah, yeah. Am I uh, misreading that? Huge buff. I mean, that's literally a third. Too. Yeah. Gets his power like, what? 33% faster. Read the second one. Okay, I was just making sure the first was... Uh, Chucky can only scamper while performing slice and dice. Yeah, so <laughs> his reaction kind of says it all. That's a huge nerf. Um, he can't, like, go under pallets just randomly, right? Um, some people think that that's okay. They like that. Basically, he can't just crawl under a pallet and use slice and dice around a tile anymore. He has to do it all in one. He has to scamper while slice and dicing, which is a nerf. But a lot of times, being able to vault a pallet, depending on how big the loop was, <laughs> wait, wait. could kind of ensure oh. that he just gets an automatic M1. <laughs> now, here, here's the thing. I don't really care about him getting like a free M1 because I don't think it's really necessarily free. I like the fact that like survivors would have to be like, okay, is he just going to go into the pallet? Because if he does... Maybe I shouldn't sit right in front of the pallet. Maybe I should go a little bit away so I can actually be prepared to loop again. Then again, with his small stature, a lot of times, like, he could, like, fake a scamper, fake kicking the pallet, go around and get a free hit. I think the biggest issue was with the, the add-on that allowed him to break pallets while going underneath. Definitely doesn't like that. Infinite? I mean, it's a nerf. Infinite loops? Infinite loops? Wait, what? The face. It's because they're just funny, man. Like, the... I've said, man, like th this game would be in such a better place community-wise. It wouldn't be as toxic, uh, and just design-wise, if uh, it was a different developer. The game wouldn't be as toxic if it was a different developer. I guess I don't know. That's really I don't I don't really I don't really understand that. Um. Wait, why? Um. I'm a little sad. Right. For a change. So it was strong. It was I've the strongest part of his power. Here. Let me uh. Let me bring up Pam. For sure. Like, it was it was the strongest part of his power, for sure. So Oh yeah. I I've s I saw him. He's to do break this. it. Because if he doesn't break it, he's gonna have to ah, And then when he goes with a scamper, it's gonna just go like this, and then you'll be able to just go around. So every single one of these he has to break now, right? It just has to break every pallet. Mm, no, that's not necessarily true. I mean, especially with a side like this. All you would, in theory, have to do, because you can scamper while slice and dicing. No, all you have to do is do a little mind game here where you, you know, you push them, you go this way, you push them around, or you go this way and you push them around. You instantly turn around, you slice and dice. Especially if it's angled like this. I, I mean, I don't think it would be angled like this. But if they're going the way that, like, he said they were going, you push them this way, slice and dice, scamper through the pallet, and you still, you continue slice and dice, if I'm not mistaken, and flick to the right. It's going to just go like this, and then you'll be able to right? just go around. So every single one of these... Right? He has to break now, right? It just has to break every pallet. Correct? Like, he has to break every pallet. Because one of the good things Chucky did is he went under, 
and then he sliced and diced yeah, and I mean, had a chance of getting you. This is a PTB. Right? Like, it was, it was, it was, it, you know, favorable. A lot of the extent. pallets, I feel like a lot of tiles are still favorable for Chucky to slice and dice into scamper into continuing the slice and dice attack, le attack left or right. I think this might eliminate some of his looping potential, like anti-loop potential in like certain tiles, but it's still going to be good. No, I, I disagree. I disagree. Then, it's a nerf, don't get me wrong, but it's not going to require you as Chucky to kick terrible. every pallet to but use now, slice and dice. He needs to slice and dice, which allows him to scamper. But usually, yeah. when you do that, the turn it's not it's not as good. Like when he went right. under with scamper, but the hitbox he could go is here and then he wide. could start slice and dice here aim here and then do a, like a nice turn right i think but this is a very like finite one specific and like and i don't turns gonna no like tiles that. i don't think so there's you tiles that are angled quite like the this. corner oh, right it just depends like i said it's gonna nerf his ability to like so you basically place and dice on some tiles pallet. no so ba cool. break every single pallet basically i think i mean that's no i disagree i i i think that's just a a random i just think that's a random statement well, like again, you have pallet. to like you're just so gonna have cool. to have people play them. This Very, is gonna be a uh, PTB test. How is it really gonna work on? All... And like, if so, an easy fix would be you could just increase his turn rate a little bit, like a slight bit, or his camera turn rate. And Very, it'd be fine. Uninteresting chases, but okay. Um, you won't have to basically kick okay. every pallet. Decrease the time it takes scamper. That's so a buff. it takes to scamper. That's a buff. One is in the game, uh, and then a week later they'll take it out. Do oh, what? this is really stupid. As so yeah, this this middle one is they they're killing Chucky. They'll probably revert it. They'll put killing it in the game. That, that people people will say what I'm saying right now will be like, what the hell? This is really stupid. Some of the best Chucky players that I have seen don't need to. They know how to use his power. They don't need to fake a pallet kick and just scamper underneath the pallet and get a free M1 in order to get down. So they actually know how to use his power. What? And the devs will ignore everyone. They'll put it in the game. Uh, and then a week later, they'll take it out. No. Scamper, this is why, once again, I <laughs> you just the killed DBD. To to people who actually know no, what they're talking he's about. He's not killed. Because the devs don't. Uh, scamper could uh, sometimes lead to unavoidable hits, uh, since survivors could not possibly get somewhere, uh, someplace safe. Did it always lead to unavoidable hits? Not always. Or was it all about the distance not always. of the good guy to the survivor when they scamper, and then the good guy playing really well in that situation? Uh, make Not always. Good, like a really good read on it. Uh, I see, and like, okay, so this is one of the pro so this is one thing I'll say. This kind of goes in line with like a lot of people's critiques of True. The language he uses is very like energetic in the way. Oh, this kills Chucky. Okay, re really? Like, if if you think really, it kills Chucky. It kills Chucky. I I doubt it. Um, first of all, being able to use his power thirty three percent more frequent. Well, I guess I don't know if that number is actually right. I mean, it's a third less, right? Being able to use his power that much more frequently is going to be a huge buff. And you won't need to kick every pallet. The language here is kind of like, that's that's the issue that a lot of people have. Do, do, do. Uh, there are loops where not they still get around good without guy. slice and dice. He's not dead. He's still going to be decent. Um, but you just have to go to the PTB. To, ironically. You, you'll have to wait to see. You'll have to wait yeah, to let's, see. Let's turn it on its head. So... They wanted to change Scamper so they couldn't give uh, unavoidable hits to the killer. So instead, they're making it so the survivors are not able to get hit instead, which is that's an unavoidable non-hit, right? How do you know So they've that, gone from though? an unavoidable hit to an unavoidable not-hit. Okay. Is basically the gist. I feel like this point has been kind of dragged a little bit. Uh, and instead, encourage uh, using his unique slice and dice attack. Huh? Oh! Okay. Oh, he's not even on about using slice and dice. He's just saying scamper under and then follow behind. Was that very consistent? Yes. Yes. See, this is what like he. This is my problem, right? He, he didn't read all this and he didn't really realize what the change was intended to do was to fix it so that the killer wouldn't just scamper to get hits and downs. They want to incentivize people to use Chucky's power, the slice and dice attack, so they make it better. 
by reducing the cooldown. And they eliminate the ability to just crawl under pallet and hit somebody. The crawling under a pallet, see like, when you have an ability to traverse a pallet or break, it'd be, okay, a good comparison, now like, obviously it's an entirely different killer, Legion, okay? He can vault a pallet. Imagine if he could vault a pallet, cancel his power, and he only had like a half a second or a quarter of a second of delay before he could hit you. It would be busted. It would be broken, right? The the cooldown in his fatigue is there so that, is, you know, you can't just make an instant decision to vault a pallet after a survivor throws it down and is right there. Like, there's already a bit of a, like, a mind game that survivors have to play of like, okay, if I throw this pallet down, the good guy might just go underneath and then hit me. I, like, that shouldn't really be a line of play for the killer to basically ignore pallets. Well, couldn't you just hug? I didn't know that. Could you just go under? Oh, you didn't even and then know that you catch could do up that? To a, a survivor who's hugging the side. Yes. I thought you needed to slice and dice. No. Yeah, okay. He doesn't even know how the killer works. Well, why didn't they just make it so his scamper takes longer to go under instead then? So you need to use slice and dice. Oh, this is the this is the entire issue. Okay, and I'm not trying to be critique, like super critique. And I don't know if he's played this character much, but you're getting upset about all these changes when you don't even know how the killer works. Like, why were you upset that they? I'm so, I'm just so lost. I'm so confused. That's a good survivor. No, he didn't even know that mm. there you could do the yeah, thing that they're removing. Good survivor. I'm not sure. So what does it matter? Who's going to get around? For him, but the they, killer's they just, just getting made a buff. The scamper. Right? Just make the scamper like... Huh? What did I say? 0.2 seconds was okay. last time I read the devs notes. So I guess it's going to be a reoccurring thing. Um, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm just so confused. That's him. Okay, you don't like that he did that? See, that's, that's the problem that I have. Very, very energetic, potentially polarizing statements made in regards to like your critique of DBD. You basically have to kick every pallet. Um, they killed Chucky. You didn't even know that you could do the thing that they're removing. I mean, now maybe like he misinterpreted it and he thought they were removing something else, but like, yeah. Break every pallet. I don't know. Might as well. Um, so they've increased These are all the swing duration to 2.5 seconds. Major cannibal buffs, almost, which is two. cool. I want to see more bubbles. So far. Read everything in its entirety That's and then both. break down and critique what you read. That exactly. makes his anti-loop a bit stronger Like, so read far. it section by section. Understand it. Uh, increase the, t uh, the sweet movement speed. So it's for longer and he moves quicker. Are they going to nerf some add-ons? Is that why? Most decrease likely. the collision detection size. Okay. Buff, all, buff, buff. all those are buffs. Decrease base nice. tantrum time to three seconds. Or That's five. huge. That tantrum change. Okay. That's going to be buffs. pretty big. Ah. Uh, uh, Especially for like lockers, see. it's going to change stuff. So it's one of these where change like locker jumping out they, they, they're gonna attack chile and uh beast engravings aren't they because they, they're giving this up, a base Phil? because they know it's everyone's using these beast engravings but a lot of times they don't let this be as strong as the uh the add-ons so it ends you know one thing i'm is that true i'd have to look at like all the different changes sometimes when they buff a killer's base power to basically give them the add-ons base kit like, Wraith got actual yellow Windstorm, did it not? Or green Windstorm? When Wraith got the Windstorm increase, what level of Windstorm was it? The yellow, green, or purple? I mean, yeah, they actually... Well, I don't know what percentage they gave Huntress, either. Did they give her Braid? I don't know if it's necessarily a one-for-one one with no, the add-ons. No, it's right? They'll do... She got base kit, babu uh, base kit Babushka. Okay. So it's not necessarily always a gimped version of the add-on. Sometimes it is a direct one-for-one -one of the add-on. They'll be like, oh, we've noticed this killer uses these specific add-ons, uh -huh. right? So what we're going to do is we're going to give them base, what the specific add-ons do, oh. ish. It's going to be a bit worse. I think he's wrong. I think he's wrong. Because I do think Huntress as well as Wraith, got a direct one-for-one for, one for their green add-ons. I'd have to look at Wraith, but, I mean, I trust the Hunter's player in terms of Babushka. But don't worry, 
We'll use them add-ons again, but there'll be nerfed versions. So if you do use yeah. them, it'll be the same as before. So everyone no, just use the it'll be better. And it's the same shit. Have you noticed that? Go, yeah. I, I think that'll probably happen again if, if, if it is wrong. the same situation. It'll be the same thing. But he's completely wrong. Huntress and Wraith, I'm pretty sure, got direct one-for-ones. So they... <laughs> okay, so... They notice that certain killers use certain add-ons because it's like a quality of life and makes them feel better to play in almost every situation. So they give them a medium tier of the add-on base kit. And even if some killers in the past, they've only given, say, a base kit buff of 70 or 80% of an add-on, it's still a way for them to test whether or not that's enough for people to feel like they don't need to run the add-on. You know what I mean? Let me check Huntress and Wraith. Yeah, please. Uh, that, I mean, we, we've give all this, but it's not like, as good. You don't have to necessarily give a killer their add on a hundred percent, because maybe for some people, and like they don't necessarily know, maybe fifty percent of an add on's power is enough to make that killer feel better and function the way that people want. I mean, a good ins like a good um, example of like you got to be careful sometimes is with the shiny pin to Huntress. I think they gave that a one for one, and they're like, okay, yeah, this is broken. You got to be careful about overtuning a killer base kit. So, because then what do you do with their add on? If they're overtuned base kit, then the add ons are like blight, and they're just they're just busted. Uses like Doctor, right? I still use. Uh Babushka is 12. What they did to Huntress was buff. Reduce the wind-up time from 1 second to 0.9 seconds, speeding the interaction up by 10%. So, bait... Okay, so if that's true, then mathematically that would only be a 10% 10, 10 or would that technically be more? Because it's... No, I mean, yeah, that'd, be, that'd just be 10%. I mean, 10% compared to 12? Still... Super strong. Like, we all know playing Huntress that that's far. like if it was 6% and it, it like let's say it only went to 0.95. Okay, I, I okay, I could I could see that statement kind of ringing true, but 10% where Babushka does 12. I we all know on Huntress, Babushka wind up flight speed, very strong add ons. Having that base kit where you can then throw in like glowing concoction, half double up wind up. Uh, the electrode and discipline because the changes they did were not the same as the the uh, add-ons i don't think they doc still needs discipline add-ons uh so several add-ons have been adjusted accordingly yeah they'll do that again calling it uh to reduce cannibals dependence on certain add-ons uh we've reduced uh sorry we've taken part to take part of the effects of the most popular add-ons in culture into the base kit torn down the add-ons to compensate yeah they do this every time so literally what i just said so this will be a bit weaker than um engravings with what was it actually is it beast i think it's beast marks actually right or beast i think wraith was green windstorm it maybe it was yellow it was but the beast engravings whatever it is um, be yellow. Chile. well okay so wait babushka so then they just added mana mana braid right because mana braid hold on mana braid is less correct um um yeah it gives eight percent they actually gave huntress base kit Mana grass braid, mana, mana grass braid, from patch one point six. It's a it's, it's an actual. So they gave her base kit somewhere between babushka and mana braid. They didn't even nerf mana braid though. They nerf babushka. Twelve percent. They didn't even nerf this though, right? Or did they? I mean, this isn't. That's a long time ago patch. <laughs> yeah. No, they didn't even nerf her add-ons. So that's not true. Considerably increase the race movement speed when cloaked from 5.06 meters per second to 6. Nerf moderately decrease the race movement speed when uncloaking. I mean, I, so that's a whole meter per second that they gave him default while cloaked. What does um, what does windstorm give you? Storm white. That's the green one. Increase movement speed by seven percent. 
Um, was this actually when they buffed Wraith? I don't have a number attached to this though, right? Move the speed penalty to uncloaking. However, it should be noted that the old version of Windstorm White did not have any speed penalty code associated with it. Just now for increasing the race default cloaking speed. But isn't five to six insane? That's way bigger than like a seven percent movement speed bonus. Is it not? That's like isn't that like twenty percent? That's almost a twenty percent buff. Isn't it? Am I okay, am I reading that wrong? So not only did they give him windstorm, they gave him crack windstorm. I'm confused. So then what he's saying isn't true. The buffs that they've been giving to killers base kit have been better than their add-ons. And the add-ons haven't even been nerfed. Well, beast engravings. What add-ons add 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 nerfs is he called. referring to? The beast engravings, whatever it is, um, with Chile. About. The add-on nerfs is he referring to? Um, base kit coup, so yes. See. Busted. This way they feel less essential yeah. uh, and allow you to... Bo both the add-ons are 16%, and they give him like almost a 20% movement speed increase base. Spirit and Billy? Uh, like new Billy or old Billy? Spirit I can... I mean, Spirit I can see... Spirit's different. Like, that killer is kind of in a realm of her own. I mean, she needed to be nerfed for a long time. Add-ons and everything. Her add-ons were like blights. They were busted. From with other options, yeah, but oh, blight with engravings, yes, yes, I could see that. Yeah, they did do it to Billy's engravings. To be fair, they won't, will they? Because this probably won't give what we need for the add-ons. So it's a point. Guess we'll see. The so weaker killers, they the size of the chainsaw collision Stronger killers, they did. make it less likely to bump into Makes things sense, that aren't right? in front of you. This is this is a good change. I agree with this. It's a good change. It does feel like you're strong a bit, killers. A bit they nerf the add-ons after giving. So this, this is actually buffs. quite a good change. Deslinger, obviously. Um, Change the stun time when a survivor breaks free to 2.7 seconds Buff. was free. So once again, this is going to be maybe attacking the add-ons or no? Increase real speed Buff, to 2.7. Right? Uh, and increase movement speed when reloading I'll buff. to free. Just minor. I'll buff stuff. Every second counts. Yeah, it does. You have to be careful really with projectile does. kick up. But projectile you want killer. to use that when you need to use it, right? Um... So I've made some tweaks to save the Deathslinger some time when reeling. It's it's so minor. Like, with 110... I, I already said an idea for Deathslinger. Like, when he needs to reload, make him 115%. Because that's where his issue is. Um, I don't know that he slow. really needs changes, but it's Deathslinger. Mastermind decreased the hindered penalty from infection uh, to 4% was 8. That's Thank God. Big. Thank God. That's actually really big. I think 8% was too much. I've said that time Infection and time again. His hindered is too powerful. Was 50. That's interesting. interesting. I still think That's your infection shouldn't go up after the, uh, the biggest change is the top one. If you're getting chased, but... Top of the uh, vulnerable bound being a be strong chase power to begin with. Infected survivors also suffered from severe movement penalty. penalty. <laughs> Reduced this to 4%. So significant, but not a death sentence. I mean, the other one weren't, but it was really, really... 8% wasn't a death sentence for hindered? Well, I disagree with that. I disagree with that. I very much disagree with that. 8% is huge. You know what's funny? Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. I just want to say something, okay? I just want to say something. This is, this is what blows my mind, right? Now, I don't know. I mean, I can assume his stance on MFT. 8% is not a death sentence. 3% faster for survivor. 2 OP, it's broken. What? Unless you had a teammate willing to protect, 8% is definitely a death sentence? Uh, yes. Yes. Literally, there are tiles where it's already hard, even if Wesker isn't using his power, to go from pallet to pallet. 4% is still going to be really good. 8% was crazy. No, I... No, maybe I'm looking at this wrong. Like, maybe my, my perspective is skewed, but if 3% MFT is broken, busted, survivor's running too fast, and them going 8% slower is not a death sentence, then what is a death sentence for running slower? 20%? I Like clowns bottles? I, I don't know. It was really powerful. It was one of the more powerful things of Wesker, I would say, personally. I said that before. Uh, we have also further reduced survivor's infection when hooked to make tunneling 
yeah, make the game about hooks, man. If you don't want tunneling. Um, Combat 33 now increases rush turn rate and duration by 11 was 33. Massive. Yeah, uh, it's just too strong as add-ons are being nerfed. Uh, increased rush speed by 10 was 20. Okay. Peg was very good. They were super strong. Yeah, they were. They were really strong. Yeah. Great. Uh, yeah, boxes. everyone knows that. Hard to argue. Increased toolbox sabotage speed. I'm surprised Why? they did that. They must really want Sabo... Increased effects of sabotage-related add-ons. ...to be as common as, Why? like, flashlights. Why are, you, uh, why are you increasing sabotage speeds to I make think, them less countable? I think they just want Sabo to be more in the game. Toolbox are often considered the repair item. Uh, while this is mm -hmm. fine uh, for those who want to use them to repair... I, yeah. Uh, I think like it's just sure what they want to see more like as a company. A vi uh, Sabo plays. Is that what it was? They were a toolbox. Yeah, Alex's. Alex's toolbox for to face. I think they just oh. they want to drive to a boxes to be a more Sabo oh, okay, that's used what item. Uh, you didn't like it? Yeah, I know. I mean, it. it's already good, and there's already good options. And I understand why people are like, why would you buff Sabo? I think it's just a matter of fact that Behavior wants to see more Sabo plays being done. That's it. Increase block duration. You shouldn't have it blocking. It should be a regression or something to do with gen slowdown, not blocking. I mean, I don't mind Deadlock getting nerfed because it's passive. Don't get kind of confused with this. I think by we the way. need more regression. I don't know why they add that. That's tier one. I don't know why they add it. It's strange. It's tier one. They can also I mean, use not? it to confuse people. Right. Um. Wait, wait. Because some tier ones are like, they can be like. Uh, they can also use it to confuse people. What? Why? Is he implying that they would want to intentionally confuse people by putting the numbers up? Is that like a tinfoil hat thing, or is he just... Is that poor it's wording? It's tier one. Maybe he's just saying it they can, can be They can also confusing. use it to confuse people. Um, because some tier ones are like... They can be like... Um, uh, it was 20, 25, 30. And then they could say... Um, it's gone 20, 22, 25 or something. Which sounds like it might be better, but this, these two don't matter. It's only the end one. I mean, why so not five put seconds it in less. there, though? Cool. Deadlock's quite effective uh, while being rather easy to activate. I'm just... Okay, I'm just going to give him the benefit of the doubt and assume that he means it can be confusing to some people. Because why would... Why would they want to intentionally confuse people by just listing how it's going to change the perk completely? I mean, they're, they're the literally fish. just putting out here what the tooltip is going to look like. That's it. ...of the generator blocker to bring it in line with other options. Dude... Disco tier one. That was such a weird timeline. Options, you you don't, you don't. You're just taking time off, and that's it. And opening. Didn't books. like seeing tier one and tier two being so um, possibly. Okay. Decrease the movement speed to. I mean, no, that makes sense. Like, if he's worried about other people getting confused, I guess I get it. But like, it's also one of the most simplistic things. We all know perks have tiers. Fifth day was two hundred. Yeah, no. uh, decreased exhaustion or oh, exhaustion duration. You already know how I feel about this. I'm sad. They buffed the exhaustion duration, but they yeah. nerfed its speed. Why would you buff its exhaustion? Isn't this supposed to be... Mash hits 20 seconds. This update is a balance change to some of the strongest and most frustrating perks to face. Yeah. Buff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, hold up here. Hold up here. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go in on this. I'm ranting. Um, yo, what up, Jay? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So it's not that I'm triggered, but, no, and I, I guess I don't know if he's really aware. The thing that is frustrating, okay, frustrating perks to face. The part about this perk that was apparently frustrating for people that everyone fixated on was how far you could hang outside of the chase to then run in and get a pallet save without the killer knowing you're around. Getting rid of that 50% speed will help with that. The exhaustion part of it, how often you could use it, I don't think is really going to matter if killers can actually pick up safely under pallets with survivors not being able to run from as far away. Perks to face. Buff. The frustrating part was nerfed. Huh? Frustrating part was nerfed. So 20 seconds, you instantly recover from exhaustion from it. The fuck? Background player. And you just put 50% off. It, it just doesn't make any sense. It does. Decre
Yes, it does. Literally just read that the point of the update is to help some of the most frustrating perks not be as frustrating. Maybe he gets flashlights saved on a lot? I, d I don't know. Um, huh. Increased the block duration to 10 seconds. Used to be 12. Nothing. But Grim Embrace isn't that crazy, in my opinion. They're Didn't pretty much change nerfing change. all meta perks. Grim Embrace has quickly risen in both strength and popularity since it's last changed. Uh, we just have the new speed now. Slightly. Yeah, you won't be able to do any crazy, like, flash-style speed turnaround snipe saves. I mean, you will, but it's just you won't be as fast. You'll still get the speed boost for five seconds, though, which is kind of cool. You just have to be slightly closer, I think. To move into more balance range while I would cry. rewarding for killers who choose to switch targets. Yeah, it's not worth. Wait, um, he doesn't. Wait, he doesn't like so this Grim is Embrace. Targets. Balance range while keeping really? rewarding for killers who choose to switch targets. Yeah, it's not really. Worth. Um, he doesn't like Grim Embrace, huh? Oh, I guess he likes regression, not blockage. Okay, I mean that makes sense. I mean, 10, 10, 10, 40 is still insane. That's 70 seconds of no generator progress. And for you to get into chase. So is this is, they've re reduced the stun to four seconds was five. Our last Fair. update increased the stun rate. Is this mainly, okay, they got buckle up there at least. Oh, buckle up's getting gutted. They're going to buff this, I have a feeling, even though it's supposed oh, yeah. to be nerfing, it says. Didn't it say nerf it? He said... Strongest and most frustrating perks to, to face. Yeah, but you might as well also buff perks that are shit. Well, That's know. probably because it's a new one that just came out. Um, so yeah, well, this, <laughs> it uh, increased the stun duration to five seconds. It was You're a little too effective. People buckle up? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're buffing a meta perk. Of course it's going to be too effective. Are you fucking stupid? It's like buffing fucking pop to like 50% and going... Um, our last update, we increased pop to 50%. Uh, it was a little too effective. Well, yeah, you're buffing a fucking meta perk. God. I don't know. I, I hate DS anyway. So now we'll just put it down a to 45%. Yeah. Still buffed. Still meta. Um, Pokos the Weasel has proven to be very strong, and the conditions to activate it aren't very difficult. I mean, I kind of agree with him uh, on this. What and, is more difficult than having to hook a survivor, you fucking devs? <laughs> what is more difficult? Um, to activate pop, you need to hook all four separate um, survivors and also down them within 30 seconds per chance. No, I mean, I agree. Get it. Is like, that difficult now? Like, I don't really, I don't really get what they're trying to say. I mean, all they really had to say was felt it was too strong. Why not keep pain res pop the same or even slight buffs, but make it so stacking them their efficiency? I mean, that's something I proposed a lot, multiple times. Like, what they could literally do is for every slowdown or every regression perk that you're running, its effectiveness is reduced by 10%. So if you run four, every one of those is nerfed by 40%. So then that way it incentivizes people to only maybe run one or two and then run other perks to compensate for like the inadequacies in their build or skill. Chase perks or reading, whatever. Um, I do think like some of the... So I've said this before, the biggest issue I think with DBD is like how powerful some perks are. The power and influences that perks have on the game. If they were to reduce all the power level and influence that the strongest perks have on the game, then they could look at the game and balance it on a more baseline level. So like gen times wouldn't be as frustrating. Getting tunneled wouldn't be as frustrating because maybe they put something in the game that kind of like prevents somebody from getting one, two, three to five gens, you know? Instead of it having to do with perks aiding in all those big power swings. I really want the devs to go against good survivors. It's fucking annoying. They never will. They though. did. They did. That's why flashlights got nerfed. That's why locker saves got nerfed. Apparently. They, they did. <laughs> the Korean the Korean match or whatever. They did. <laughs> the That's the problem. When the devs go up against good survivors, survivor things get gutted, so. Yeah, they regressed it massively, dude. Um
It's 20%. It's worse. What about Monica? It's worse than Pop when it used to regress. Um, Forgot about the uh, total. Three patch notes before So this. it used to regress 25% yeah. of total, but then they put it to 30% of current. So even at its very, very best now, it's worse than it's... Uh, the old Pop. So it's, it's only worse in every way possible. Very bad. That's yep. really, really bad change. Not really, because stacking regression is better right now. Like, pop, fine with hook pop, fine with grim embrace is just fucking boring. It's boring to play. Devs are detached up, as MC? fuck. They have no idea what they're, uh, what they're doing. Uh, but it is what it is, isn't it? So yeah, cool. I disagree. Yeah. I, think, I think that's a good way to go. Nerfing meta perks in general, especially when they have something to do with generator speeds, is a smart way to figure out what the baseline game looks like for them to better make like quality changes at a at a base level but um buckle up oh god no pain resonance wait what did stacks. they call that i am a minor they call that a minor guys that's what i mean that's why i'm not reading it and then they say major because it's a fucking survivor thing but it is a major update this combo is getting gutted it has nothing to do with buckle up no longer provides endurance yeah like go. it's major because they're getting rid of a component Adding something else. It's minor because they're tweaking a number. Wait, I'm... Like... Is this serious? It has nothing to do with it being survivor or killer. It's literally labeled appropriately. Minor. Tweaking a number. Major. Getting rid of and adding a component. Hell, like, look. Change, remove new. Change, remove new. You see... I'm so lost. Good. But then they need to add something, don't they? They always need to add something. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, these devs are annoying. Wait, what? But then they need to add something, don't they? They always need to add something. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, these devs are annoying. Man. <laughs> They're so biased. <laughs> They're so biased. They always like. They always need to add something. So what is? Hmm. what buckle up used to do this is what buckle up used to do you can determine the recovery progress of a dying survivor by the intensity of their aura the distance of 48 meters when healing another survivor from the dying state to the injured state the killer's aura is revealed to both of you for 10 seconds whoop -dee fucking do it used to be six it used to be six what does he want the per bro the only other part of this perk is the aura of the killer is revealed to both of you. This is the current one. This is the proposed one. Does he just want the perk to do nothing? So you see the killer's aura if you're healing somebody? Like, you're only going to go in and heal when you know where the killer is anyway. This, okay, this is the part. This is one of the... This is me critiquing. This is me being critiqueful. This has nothing to do with them being biased. This has everything to do... With the fact that this perk for literal years was a meme and people would equip this when they were doing 1v1s because it did nothing some people would just run this perk only as a meme because it did absolutely nothing it was memed on as one of the most powerful perks because it was shit and the worst perk don't get me wrong they overtuned the crap out of it they wanted to try something new with endurance effects and blah 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 blah, blah. but if you remove that you just want you just want it to go back to a perk that's memed on. Like why? Why not still make it a perk that people might want to run, but it's not broken? Like this has nothing to do with like being biased. It's just them not wanting to kill the perk that was already dead. They always need to add something. So what is that? So all the nerfs to survive uh, to killer stuff. There's been nothing. There's been one because they're because they're already strong perks nerf to a survivor but they're they not they're not removing something if they remove the ability for the perk to block a gen it'd have to do something else a buff. and there's been another, that that one doesn't even need a buff but uh, 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 uh sorry didn't even need a buff I'm so sorry. this nerf is fucking meanless so thank fuck they didn't add something and then another one oh but then another buff like it's so fucking weird <laughs> perk would do nothing 
This, they are really irritating, but whatever. We're just being biased killer mains. Okay. You remember, you remember a patch not too long ago where they gave killers almost two stacks of save the best for last base kit. They increased the time to complete gen by 10 charges, 10 seconds each gen. Survivors, um, when they got hit, didn't run as far or as fast as long. And uh, survivors, oh, what, what else did they add? Oh, the, 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 the kick addition to killers? Uh, the regression event um, addition to kicking gen? You remember how, like, for the past two years, killers have been getting baseline buffs for free? They put it in the base kit. That's better than putting it in perks. You don't remember that patch? Oh, how convenient. Okay, <clears throat> again, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not hating, but I just don't understand the mindset. I don't understand where this is coming from. It's almost like we're throwing out any semblance of intellectual thinking in that regard. We're just complaining. Is everyone, like literally everyone that I've seen or I've talked to, it's bad is excited for this update. Killers and survivors alike. Am I missing something? Um, so they got rid of the endurance, which were broken as fuck, but then give it a buff, cause fuck it, why not? Um, so survivors healed from the dying state, do break into a sprint at 150% up, Danny. for five seconds, and it doesn't cause exhaustion, holy fuck. <laughs> okay. Oh, they get a sprint burst? Well, there you go. At least it's not broken. Well, I, I mean, know. might be new broken things they had with that. I don't know. But at least they haven't got the um, the crazy thing anymore. But doesn't... Is there another add-on that allows the same effect as Buckle Up? Well, MFT. That's what he's talking about. Or at least used to funk. I mean, Wiglift does. Soul God. You could do double sprint burst. I don't know so if they'd they could just stack. Bring Soul God, I then. think they would override. We're going to live forever. It just... So... The person yeah, using I mean, it few won't be immune, though. Correct. It's only the person and they pick up now, right? That is key. You can't for the people buckle up anymore. Unless the killer's far enough away. But the person okay. who for the people so is still screwed, right? So when someone uses right? for the people, you need to hit the person who's been injured for the, for the people. Correct. God damn. I... Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. The devs are... A 5% nerf. I don't know, man. They're weird. They're really, they're really stupid. I don't know if they're Why stupid. Why do they keep nerfing gen defense? Okay, first of all, if I, if you want to get really anal, I, I, I think for some of this stuff, the devs don't necessarily. Well, maybe I don't know. Who's to say any of these decisions are driven by devs? A lot of times, they just make changes based on data, based on instructions from other people. I mean, who knows? Maybe they were given freedom to make little adjustments however they saw fit. I, Instead I of actually understanding why people use it. Buckle up change, it's bad. Bad. So 20%. Um, it's broken. You know, it's almost as fucking... It's almost the same as what it used to be, but you used to be able to use it 12 times. You can only use it four times. Pain Resonance finds itself at almost 40% of yeah, loadouts. We're getting yes, more indications. Gen speed is too quick. We still refused. That's kind of weird for going back and forth a lot, for real. That's a problem within and of itself. Yeah, I mean, for sure it is. Like, some of its constraints of, like, coding the game, like, I... The problem is, is we'll never know, as players of DVD, whether or not a lot of these changes back and forth, um, you know, flip-flopping is driven by people that we don't even see, we don't even know, or, you know... Like, give us the data on this, and we'll make decisions. You know, make this stronger, make this better. Who knows? I mean, I guess you, at the end of the day, you can still call them a dev, I guess. And we've known DVDs had, like, a weird decision-making problem. I feel like they've gotten better. No, this One might actually... One of the most actually, effective perks in the game. This might be good. Might be good. Want to make this perk less of a clear choice for all builds. You know what's sad? <laughs> no matter what they do to seconds. these, people are still going to use them because they need gen defense. So they could bring this to like 10%. Not everyone does. I mean, I remember a certain Dwykel Jackson getting a 430 game streak almost as a bug only Billy with two perks. Eyes and fucker. Granted, Billy's really strong. 
Mm. People are still going to get it because it's like, well, I, at least it's 10%, right? I can slow down the gens a bit. So people are still going to use this, even though nerfing people are the still going to use this busted. because you, you need it. You need some kind of gen defense. It might change. Like if this is so bad, it might go back to maybe eruption, but it's just going to cycle. People means? are just going to keep cycling to gen Why? defense I'd have to because look at the... this isn't the issue. The, the, the gen speed to default gem regression is the issue. It's always, it's always the same. I, I still don't get how they don't get this. So this is going to be 60 seconds, so they're allowing this to be done way, way quicker. So every single gen is going to I'm okay uh, with have that. a brand new part <laughs> added onto it. The randoms will be done while doing nerfing gen faster. Uh, regressions. Yeah, smart. Thir fucking 60 seconds. So they've 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 halved it, and that's only one person. Wait, why is Oni going to be happy? Uh, regress at a rate of one oh, charge per second was oh, 20 mind. charges per no second. Method. What? What's up, Meg? I don't get that. Does Can anyone know what that means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's progress this is, is now... This just means if they get off the, uh, the invocation ring, it doesn't go down to zero as Regressed fast. a second. So everything's easier. So what is that? That's, uh, that's 70%. Yeah. Might actually be a perfect... So you're essentially... Easy. That's what you're essentially soloing a gen now, but all of them at once, right? But you're not finishing them, you're just doing that, that percentage on all of them. We're getting rid of the 10% that was given to Killer a while ago in the patch. Big update. While nerfing gen... Gen uh, regression. Cool. Um, it's really new strong. reworked auras and pools of I mean, board. this is good, right? Everyone Especially hates the, the bright players. red part about uh, uh, we Borgo. We have completely changed the light in this map to address these concerns stuff. Survivors love Borgo, it's true. But well, yeah, good. Yeah, that map needed to be nerfed. That's a good change, probably. This is weird, whatever. They're just giving, oh. like, tooltips in-game. Huh? Items were minimal. Sometimes it's good, though, you know, devs. Like, yeah, whatever, it's whatever. It's more for casual players. If, if they could work out how to have it just for casual players. So this... When does... Plenty of surprises. Uh, when does this come out? I don't, I don't really... When does this all come out? Yes. Um, like, the devs are fucking DBD. And people don't care. Because they play Survivor. <laughs> so they're like, fuck it. Fuck it. But it's hurting them too. Like, a lot of the killers you go against won't be playing in more uh, as fun manners, either. The more you nerf gen uh, regression, the more uh, slugging, more camping, more tunneling. Yeah, it's nasty. Anyway. Okay. I'll be honest, though. Like, bro. Behavior when they gave killers all those buffs had made the comment. I'm pretty sure they made a comment that, like, hey, hopefully killers won't feel the need to tunnel and camp as much. Well, oh, they did it more. They... They gave buffs to killers on a baseline level in hopes that they would feel the need to not camp and tunnel as much. Did it more. Why? Because it was easier. Guess what happens if you make a deadlock, block every gen for 60 seconds. Do you think the killer's going to run around and find unique chases because they got more time? No. They're going to proxy a hook outside the anti-camp zone. Bro, like, let's be honest. Let's be let's be let's be intellectually honest about one thing. Killers, if given the opportunity, will find the easiest way to kill survivors on a majority level. And I'm not saying that survivors wouldn't have their own equivalent if given more time, give them extra health states, they would fuck around more. I they would. They would. But making the implication that if you were to essentially not nerf and instead maybe buff gen regression, that killers would play in a more funfair manner, maybe you would. But I know 98% of the killer base that wouldn't. Because they've just been playing more aggro ever since killers and perks have been getting buffs. There's no evidence to support that they would play any nicer. And to make a statement like that, as though. Hey, devs, if you were to listen and, and buff these things so that it was easier to protect gens, I could go for more chases. Cool for you 
That doesn't protect anyone else when the killers just want to kill people. Miss Lightburn? So do I. Lightburn? Yeah, I miss being able to interact with different killers with the light in a different way. Uh, one of my favorite things in chat was when people were like, we're going to have to tunnel now? Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that's what's crazy to me. Update bad? No. This update, especially compared to the last update, is pretty good. This update's actually going to be, I think, enjoyable. Um, I think this is, personally, I think this is a step in the right direction. They got rid of the one broken combo that survivors have, which is for the people buckle up. They nerf one of the most annoying stalemate perks, especially at a higher level that killers have been complaining about, which is background player. Still going to be decent for like saves and stuff, but it doesn't create a stalemate at pallets as easy. Also, which is always fun and interesting, a potentially new perk or synergy with like the speed boost from Buckle Up. And in my opinion, they took a step in the right direction with nerfing how impactful the strongest regression in gen perks from the killer POV side are so that they can look at the game with those perks having less influence and say, okay, are there maybe some more baseline changes we should make? I, I think it's better. I think this update has potential to be really good. I do. We've already seen this game changed in a way where the devs were hoping that killers wouldn't play X and X way, and they did. They played, they played that way harder. It didn't matter. It didn't matter that they buffed them. So it's the best one in years. I think it's somewhere in the mix of like the meta, the first meta perk shakeup somewhere, somewhere around there. Like it's yeah, I, I definitely say in the past couple years in terms of just like a, a perk change. I think this is this doesn't have any like red flags to me. I don't think. I just want to say I just want to throw it out there. Because we, we talked about it frequently in this video. I really... So my one critique, if anything, over like the way that uh, he reviewed and kind of portrayed some of his opinions and information. We, a lot of people, the biggest criticism that they have given True over the years is that his language gets him into trouble. The way that he words things. And it's not necessarily an attack on his ability to work... I mean, it's not an attack on like the opinions, but it's more so people are just, I think, frustrated and like, hey, you got a platform, you got a following, you're very opinionated, you're out there, you're a voice in the community. Let's not rile people up into a, an us versus them sort of back and back and forth. Respectfully, it's not like him saying the wrong words. I think it's just the emotion he puts behind a lot of his statements that don't have a very like clear message. He he leaves a lot up to interpretation, and he leaves a lot to assume, and uh, that's the problem, right? If you let people create their own assumptions of your statements because they're vague or unclear consistently. And you do it with like a little bit of emotion and gusto. Um, people then kind of like create their own identity for you. And unfortunately for him, it's kind of been negative. I don't know. Not that I'm a, a, a saint or anything, but I feel like he's thinking of the status quo. That's kind of, yeah, that's kind of like what I'm saying. Um, I think more people would be willing to hear him out and maybe even agree with more of his points if it didn't seem like he was taking a whole group of players and just giving, uh, like, shining this negative light where it doesn't need to be shined because it doesn't really exist. Oh, maybe that's... Maybe, maybe I'm wording that weird, but... I don't think he wants to create an us-first-them mentality, but he's he's creating that within the devs, and he's like... I think incorrectly and like un you know in bad faith creating a boogeyman inside the develop like inside the devs and inside the game of like survivors you know the game has always been biased towards survivors like killer has come a long way I think to like throw out all the the buffs and you know the benefits all the the perk changes killer reworks all the things like the map changes specifically that have gone in favor of aiding killer to be a stronger role to just throw that out and to still say oh yeah the devs are just 
completely biased. The survivor perks always get something even when they get changed. I just think that's being disingenuous. And like it, it, like I said, it kind of like continues to create this very polarizing, you know, group of people in the community. Whatever. Don't care. Um, oh yeah, I need to switch my keybinds. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's, that's all I'm really going to say.